Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the first part of the World Cup jersey review. Yes, it's happening, it will happen to, uh, throughout the tournament, not ahead of the tournament because there was so little run up for it. And I'm gonna do it alphabetically. And within each video I decide to sort the teams as they are seated, so the top seed and then how they play each other afterwards. So in this one we have first Qatar, then we have Ecuador, then we have Senegal and then we have the Netherlands. As for the jerseys that I am wearing, I usually put the one that is probably closest to my heart for this. In this one it's clearly the Netherlands as they are one of my uh, three favorite national teams outside of the family teams. Um, the family teams, of course, being uh, Austria, Bulgaria, a little bit the United States and a little bit Peru. Um, and then the other two national teams that I really, really like are Italy, who are not at the World Cup. And then, of course, Argentina and the Netherlands. Not necessarily in that order. It's usually the Netherlands go top. So after this very personal stuff, um, I would say we should go through those. I took, I looked up all the pictures. I'm trying to make them uh, get a, a nice uh, picture, which I think is for all the teams. I have actually quite decent ones um, that I will put up there. I will comment on them. I give a rating from one to 10, one the worst, 10 the best uh, possible one. And yeah, here we go. I will start with the host Qatar, uh, which are supplied by Nike. And I have to say my initial reaction was um, a little bit underwhelmed, but it did not come unexpected given what the Nike template is, uh, the current one, the main one with kind of this shoulder, which is very uh, reminiscent of what um, the Adidas teams had at the Euros. But it doesn't look bad. It's kind of more, yeah, boring. It's uh, it's interesting the, what they did with the sleeve cuffs to kind of hark to uh, hark back to the Qatari flag. Everything centralized looks also good. The one thing I saw the opener, the pants with that one look really, 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 really cheap. But overall, it's a jersey that doesn't get me excited. I think that uh, the pre previous one looked a little bit better. I would say it's just your ever it's average it's not bad uh, so I would give it a six star. I actually like the away jersey a tad better. A it's the more um, traditional way of putting crest and logo, but I actually do like the pattern uh, in there. I mean there's uh, all these uh, circles that are kind of intersecting, which makes it nice. And then there is a little bit of uh, in and out wavy. It is supposed to um, be, you know, uh, hearkening back to the pearl fishing traditions in Qatar, which I can see a little bit, but I actually have to say this one doesn't look all that bad. Uh, it is interesting for sure. And I think it's in a way the, a, a, a better jersey. This one worn with uh, dark red pants, I think would make for a really, really, really good look. Um, I actually want to give this eight stars. Moving over to Ecuador, who are the only marathon team. Um, they have, of course, and you saw it's probably my Copa America jersey review, uh, reviews uh, a new federation logo, which doesn't look that bad. I mean, the old one it uh, up there on the 2006 shirt looks a little bit, you know, uh, childish, especially the condor on there. So you have here the three letters FEF, and it kind of has the condor wings. My only gripe is I do understand why they're doing it, and, and it's not a bad idea, but you put the flag up top, but since on the yellow shirt, the yellow bar is kind of lost, so it looks a little bit asymmetric when it really isn't uh, in shape, I mean. But other than that, I actually, I do like this shirt. I'm not so totally sold on the collar, the, the, the dip in there is a little bit weird. And also the patches under the arms, I, yes, I know that uh, blue is above the red. But it looks a little bit odd, I gotta say. And then uh, you have the, you know, on the sleeve because you have the full uh, colors of the Ecuadorian flag, but uh, the blue in on the shirt is much darker than the blue of the Ecuadorian flag. So there are a few things that don't quite mix, but I think overall this is an, it's not a bad shirt at all. I would go with this one a seven. I really love the away jersey. The kind of... Um, I want to say Inca-inspired pattern uh, on there, the dark blue, the silver, you still have on the sleeve because a little bit the Ecuadorian flag. 
I wonder if this wouldn't have looked better with a full color crest because there actually the flag would stand out a little bit more. And you know, you have you have a, a blue base. So I think this is maybe a tad too much, but there is something about this jersey that I absolutely adore. And I really, really like that, that, that one. It's one of my favorites of the entire World Cup. I would say this is a nine star. And then Ecuador also has a third jersey, which I'm not sure that will be used um, in white. I think for me it would have been uh, most uh, appropriate to use it maybe in the op opener, but uh, their yellow jersey worked fine. It is fine. It has also this nice texture pattern in there. It has the full colored crest. I think here it looks quite nice. Other than that, it's a little, it's very similar to the home jersey, but with thicker sleeve cuffs. It's not a bad one, but again, it leaves me uh, over a little bit underwhelmed as well, but I would give it a six star. Going over to Senegal and the home jersey is another favorite of mine for this workup. Yes, nothing, in my opinion, nothing ever can beat this Senegal jersey. However, what Puma did here, I really do like that. You put the flag kind of front and center. Yes, the flag is turned. Uh, so it's not, uh, so it would be, uh, I'm sure I'm gonna get a green, uh, yellow, red in vertical stripes, not, hor not horizontal. But I really like this uh, chevron up there. It makes it a really strong look. And then you have the sleeve cuffs on the collar and uh, the sleeve cuffs in, in flag and uh, the collar as well. Although I actually do wonder if it's not a little bit too much overkill. But overall, I have to say this is a jersey that I, the moment I saw it, I always liked the only reason why I'm not saying I need to get this one is because I already had a, have a white Senegal jersey. But this is a really, really, really good looking jersey. I have, I have to say it is simple. It, I always say national team jerseys are best when there is the national flag somewhere featured and they put the national colors all over. Um, I'm also going to give this uh, nine star mainly because I find the color uh, a little bit odd. Um, I think that the color in white might have worked better on that one. That's the, that's the only uh, thing that I have. But other than that, it's one of my favorite jerseys of this entire World Cup. The away jersey is only the one that I am actually a little bit looking because I want to have a green uh, Senegal jersey. But this is this Puma template that is, you know, Puma being Puma. Uh, again, doing something completely out of the box by putting a box onto the jersey. And I have to say, I'm less bothered by the box and more bothered by the darker green central stripe. If that wasn't there, I actually think I could leave it this one because it's really nicely done that you could put the number in there. I think it wouldn't look that, that, that bad, although I think if you lose the yellow shape, it would look maybe a little bit better. So um, I, it, it's again, just a tad too much. What I also do like is that uh, they thought I'm not sure how much they thought about the fans, but they thought a little bit it out because even if you don't get with a number, there is SEN. You have the FIFA code for Senegal in there, which makes it really nice. And you have, of course, uh, next to the crest, you have the national flag. Yes, I got the colors right. And um, we have uh, the nickname also there, which I think are all nice touches. And uh, overall, the um, overall look and feel of this shirt is not a bad one. Again, this green center stripes to me destroys the shirt a little bit. I think if this was all plain green, I think we will talk about quite an interesting one. It is of the ones that have been issued in this template, definitely one of the better ones, at least in my opinion. Um, I would go as high as saying seven stars because I actually do like the color combinations there. And I don't find it a bad shirt. Yes, the box could have done, could have been a little bit better. Going to the last one, which is my favorite team in the other Netherlands, but Nike, you know, we say Puma doing Puma things. Nike is really outdoing them themselves in issuing rather questionable kits. Now the home jersey per se doesn't look all that bad. However, the orange is a yellow. This is my bit. And it's supposed to be a lion's mane, blah, blah, blah. I, I, it goes a tad too much. I also have to say that I saw the replica shirt. I mean, on the um, uh, player version that is here, it's kind of uh, a really nice um, 
plastic applied on there with a nice pattern, the vapor knit pattern in there, which on, honestly, it looks, uh, I can live with, with without, but what uh, annoys me is that if any, when you buy the player version, the lion is not this nicely, um, uh, you know, a chain stitched uh, lion in a way. Um, it is just a flat uh, picture, which is a little bit of a disappointment to it, because this is really, I mean, just look at it. It is really there as a 3D FF. If that will, will, will be, then I think I would leave with it a little bit more. I even don't like. I, I even don't mind the line being within a black shield. I think this is a uh, very classic Netherlands. So that's not so bad. But uh, the shade is just off. And I'm a little bit tired now that it is now the third shot in a row that the Netherlands go with uh, orange and black. I want to see orange and white being put on the forefront egg again. But while I have been contemplating this jersey just because I wanna have an orange, no, I have an orange label, a dark shield, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested, but you know, it is not well done. So, uh, and the lion man, it just does not look right to me. Um, I'm sorry, this is Nike, cannot give more than a three star. Give me a, a true orange and we're talking. I don't even mind the pattern all that much, but it gets too light. It, uh, if you look at it in play, it just does not look right. And that's a shame. That's a true shame. And a true shame is also the away jersey. I love the Netherlands in blue and orange, but why do we need the black in there? And why do we need to highlight this freaking trapezoid under the arms and also here, under, on, the, on, the, on the arms and uh, at, 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 at the neck? I also find... Putting the black on there kind of, it does not feel right. I think you can leave it just in blue. Do you do you see this here? I mean, we go a little bit darker here, the 2004 for Fortnite shirt, but the lion can stand by itself. We don't need the black shield here. It just looks weird. It just looks off in so many ways. And then all these weird patches in black. I even don't like the sleeve cuffs in black and orange on a blue shirt. The black is not needed. Make this a plain blue jersey. And maybe even keep the shield, but I, th I think make the shield blue. And you don't have a great jersey, but at least you have, have a winner. But here, you are highlighting a template that is already majorly disliked. And honestly, uh, the shirt looks disappointingly cheap. And Nike can do so much better. I have been waiting for a dark blue jersey for a long time. And fortunately, there is found this one for me. Um, this one is another real dis disappointment. And what I hate most about it is that Nike Go all goes about by coloring the patches on the weirdest spots. Here, the boomerang on the back, which the home home dress on, and then on the underarms, the sweat stains. It literally looks like sweat stains. Two stars. It's just not good. So yeah, that was it from uh the group a which jerseys in here did you like uh what are the shirts that uh you would like to get from from this group there's always an interesting question where do you agree and disagree with me give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and i will talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!